Welcome back everyone to episode 28, let's play Rule the Waves. And this is on the event screen because <laughs> the other part of the program is currently running on the wrong monitor and I can't move it because this is taking priority. So, but basically um, we're at tension, let's take a look. Yeah, we're at tension 11 with Great Britain. So this is certainly going to do us in. It has been, it was January 1930 when I had left you. It's now September 1931, so a lot has happened. I mean, not really a lot has happened, but a lot of retrofitting has happened. Anyways, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and get us into war, basically. Um, pretty sure this is going to do it. Budget, prestige, tension. This is still budget, prestige, tension. Uh, yeah, the, the, I, we're at tension, we're at um, 11 anyways, so we might as well just swing for the fences. So right now I just want to let you know, I'm just eyeballing it, but it looks like 11 with Great Britain, probably 8 with France and Italy, 10 with Russia, 7 with Japan, and probably like 5 with the United States, so. Okay, so we're now at war. Uh, yeah, go ahead and laugh at my silly little screen. Don't do your work. Don't be stupid. And we have a battle. <laughs> this is terrible. I can't drag this damn thing in. But anyways, fleet battle. Um, the bad news is I can't show you the screen, which is, again, on my other monitor. But fair, fine, 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 fair enough. I don't know. Finally, we get it in there. Okay, so let's set this up the way we always do. We're bringing in our battlecruiser fleet. Where are our Deutschland class? That's a very fair question. Oh my gosh. Well, this is going to be a big battle, isn't it? All of our Deutschland class are currently being refit, uh, retrofitted right now to with the advanced director firing. Oh my gosh. We do have all of our battlecruisers in here, all six of them. <laughs> Wow, this is really unusual. Where are we fighting? Kind of in the middle, neutral ground. Jutland. No, uh, this is not, but... <laughs> this is going to be a pretty sizable conflict, I think. So, here we go. Let's uh, actually keep division names on, because there's so many, I don't even know what to do. It said... Did it say enemy fleet? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And these guys are all on AI because they're not... Are they even part of our group? Yeah, they are. So we just need to get close enough. Okay, well, um, this is absolutely nuts. I don't have any idea how this battle will go. A lot of it will probably be fought by the AI, so we just hope our ships are better. Looks like this is actually, yeah, two ships. So let's also get the other ones to go squad max. I, have, I don't even have the slightest clue who's in this thing. The Danzig is part of something else. Alright, well, let's just see how this goes. Um, I don't think I'm able to control any of these guys. It doesn't look like it. Can I control these guys? Not yet. Hmm. Alright, well, here we go. What? What the hell is going to happen? I have no idea. If we can get our battlecruisers into position, I really like our battlecruisers. First of all, the one nice thing is I didn't have to retrofit these guys. They already had advanced director firing. That was previous. Yeah, certainly the bad news is um, this really low armor. But the good news is all the weapons are going to penetrate armor at this range anyways. So, Ah, I just keep right-clicking on stuff. So here we go. This could be just a nothing battle. Okay, please just protect the battle cruisers. God, what the hell is going on? <laughs> We're trying to come full speed ahead. Well, let's get out of screen mode. Let's go to, whoops, support, line ahead for basically everyone. Support line ahead. Support line ahead. Now, you're only one ship, but we'll still put you into support line ahead just for fun. Scout. No, let's put you on support line ahead. And uh, support line ahead. Great. 
It's gonna change up a few things. I'm gonna leave it all on max speed for now because we wanna get over here as quickly as possible. This is an absolute mess. We need to get to our battle cruisers. I don't care about any of my destroyers. Let them all go crazy. Wow, do we have, these destroyers are actually, this is the sight range in this battle, man, is horrific. 1,350 yards. Well, that does mean that we're gonna have people going out of sight range very quickly. Let's get this guy back, swing back in. So let's take them down to 31, just so we don't have so many situations where we have to bother reducing their speed. Okay, good. Things are back to normal. Our battle cruisers are leaving without their escorts. That's really no bueno. Headed towards where we last think the British fleet was. Uh boy. Well, the moment these guys get in range, we'll start tagging them off of AI controlled. Hopefully that'll be helpful. Let's get these guys to do something other than turn away. Okay. Where are the... Ba okay, so here's the, the fleet again down there. Uh, this is going to be challenging. There's a lot of fleet to control here. I mean, who knows what's even going on here. But we'll, I think we'll be able to scoop these guys up as we drive by. <laughs> okay, so these guys, for example, have now pulled close enough that we can grab them. <laughs> it's like a vacuum. Suck up all the things. Yeah, not yet. Okay, keep you guys tightly reined. Keep yourselves... It When we actually do encounter the fleet, it's going to be a mess. One torpedo is just going to blow all of us out of the water because we're going to be so close to each other. And it's going to be very hard to avoid clicking on our ships like so. Okay, so you are in range now. Let's go ahead and get you squad max minus two. Uh, the Victoria Luis is also now in range. Let's get her to go squad max, <laughs> which is pretty, pretty slow. You guys are not quite squad max. I mean, AI control yet. Yeah, we'll let you cut across a little bit more. We're doing the right thing. Chaos, total chaos, so many ships. Yeah, I, I suspect that this in the end will be a nothing battle too, because I don't think it... I'm just going to let all ships group up. It's really dangerous, but... Um, I don't want to have to deal with the micromanagement too much. Okay, we lost our... You guys come back this way. Thank you. Great. Back into the fold, please. I wonder where these battle cruisers are going. Like, honest to God, I wonder. Okay, you guys back into the fold as well. We kind of have something going on. Let's get this, uh, like heavy cruiser out of the way. We don't really care what happens to her. Everyone else is more or less making steam in the right direction. I guess making oil, since we're not steam anymore. Yeah, main thing is protect these battle cruisers. We gotta follow them. Hardcore. And these guys are already trying to protect them, so that's good. We'll leave them on their mission. Because their mission is exactly what we're trying to do as well. Defend the battle cruisers. Although, to be honest, it doesn't look like we're going to encounter... Yeah, I just I just fixed him. I see what you meant there, and... Uh, what, what is your... Hindenburg. Yeah, that's this one. Okay, yeah, well, tow yourself in then. If you don't consider what you're doing correct, it's fine. We are catching up with these guys. I don't know how. What is their speed setting? Oh, 18 and 20. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so we will be able to catch up. Very good news. Good news, everyone. Alright, 
right, we almost got him. <laughs> almost there. And now we can finally answer that question about the previous video when uh, we had that one battle cruiser that was instantly destroyed with the turret flash fire. Would we, been all, would we have been able to control it? Yep, the answer is yes. We would have been able to save it. All right, well, let's get everybody to tow in pretty quick here. Let's get these guys to go squad max. Whoops, wrong people. These guys go squad max. And just bring everyone in nice and tight. Let the rest of the people just do their thing, I guess. <laughs> okay, I, if they go into AI control, I'm just going to let it happen now. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to get all these guys controlled correctly. Okay, let's go down to 23, I think. And 23. So it is going to be rather a big pain to control this many units later. I can see with the advantage of AI control. I mean, it's not really an advantage, it's just like a I give up button. Like, I, there's just no way I can control as many units. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was going to happen. We'll keep you under control if you don't mind. So I am turning a bit here. I'm going to head towards the British port. Okay, well... I don't want nothing to happen, so we'll just let everyone go to AI control. This is a bit risky. We have a huge fleet, though. We'll just slowly make our way over to the British port. Can I correct you? I did, just in time. Um, yeah, you guys are going a little too fast, but whatever. Oh, too late. Couldn't get you in time. These are the only important ones, the battle cruisers. All right, good. So our huge fleet sails. We'll go to ultra. Oh, yeah. Aha. We found them. Someone at least. All right. Well, hard to starboard. Let's go get them. Let's just be fun here. Ugh, this is kind of crazy. Why am I doing this? But yeah, let's have fun. Platilla attack. Go and engage them. Hopefully your roll is support. Good. Line head. Perfect. Engage. Boys, engage. All destroyers. Engage, engage. Flash the signal lights. Let's go. Okay, how do I want to orient my battle cruiser line? Probably not in staggered column. <laughs> I would prefer a lead unit and a second unit, so let's get something like this. Actually, I do want whoever, anybody in my way right now has got to be sucked into duty. This might be another unfortunate, like nothing happens, but just in case. Let's get this guy. Be really nice if you could about face. Are you in range? Not quite. Okay. We do have some light cruisers leading off. That's good. Ah, 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 ah. Come on. This way. Oh, no, what are you doing? Why don't you turn? <laughs> um, why are my guys right on top of each other? This is not ideal. Okay, so who is... Okay, you go that way then, and you tuck in. All right, this is where things are about to get really, really messy. Yeah, okay, well... Anybody in range... Maybe the AI control is a good thing right now, in fact. Uh, we need to have everyone dive bomb that way. Lipstick, man, come on, return fire. We're just torpedoing. <laughs> we don't even identify them, we just torpedo first. That's the 
It's the standard German operating procedure. Just torpedo away. Aha. Uh -huh. The Gobin is... Well, I'm not surprised, man. I'm sure that everyone is avoiding torpedoes. Can, can you go get them? I'm, I'd be very upset if nobody in my entire line was able to hit them. Okay, but I need you to kind of help. Okay, this is g <laughs> potentially good. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I'm still nervous. Really nervous. The Matchbergs. Ah, okay, that's... Oh, the chaos. Let chaos reign. Okay. Don't mind if we lose a heavy cruiser here. That thing's been with us since the very beginning of the war. I mean, of the existence of our nation. Well, it's been, let's be honest, it's been with us since the beginning of my tenure as Admiral. Technically from before, since it was, I think, built... Yeah, technically before. Okay, so somebody... We, we have now identified this as a Lion-class battlecruiser. I'd really like to know what that means. Oh boy, it means 16 inch guns. Good god. Well, it seems pretty fair for us to get our. I think we have 12 14 inch guns. Well, they do out. They, they really outmatch us in every way. Better guns. We have more guns, though. And we have torpedoes. So, sick em, boys. Hopefully, our massive amount of destroyers. I'm hoping that's what wins the fight for us here. Torpedoes away! Okay, bring in the Hindenburg. Who are you? What are you? Destroyers, yes, fantastic. Max speed. Go towards the Lion class. Whoops. So many ships, it's gonna be really hard to avoid clicking like that. And what are you? You are the Battlecruiser class, okay, good. Yeah, so do that. What are you? Destroyer class, okay. I don't know what you're doing, but let's get you to a squad max in a way that hopefully separates you from the rest of the fold. This is um, light cruiser class, okay, so swing in with these mad... Actually, no, so you swing... No, yeah, swing in. Let's swing in. Okay, that's good. Get the torpedoes going. They haven't hit us yet. So far, so good. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention is I switched my crew training from torpedoes back to night fighting. So we should actually be at a pretty sizable advantage, hoping that, of course, the British didn't do the same. Oh, good. It was hit by a torpedo. And we actually got a few good 9-inch hits in. 6-inch hit. Oof. Watch out, Mashburg. Uh, they're swinging with 16-inchers here, so be very, very careful. Yeah, destroyers move in, but let's get the light cruisers to pull back just a wee bit. We'd like some of them left afterwards. You know, a few survivors would be really nice. It's chaos, man. If this guy even launches, like, one torpedo. <laughs> okay, another hit. Another torpedo hit. Pull away. Pull away. Magdeburg, yeah, just stop yourself. That's fine. But please try to turn while you're doing that, just because... Okay, for some reason, he's still going back after the Magdeburg. That's not surprising, though. Munchen, yeah. The Munchen got hit by the heavy guns, huh? Those things are going to be pretty powerful. Yeah. So we'll get the Hindenburg to make a drive-by, because they'll be able to take care of whatever light cruiser or whatever we have here. But the destroyers are the first order of business here. Oh my gosh, I love my torpedoes. <laughs> so we have a hit. These guys have a total of nine torpedoes, that's wonderful. Three which are now <laughs> already en route to target. Our torpedo technology got leveled up a whole bunch too, so these are some very, very strong torpedoes. You might even be able to tell. They're very fast. I mean, uh, just... Oh, wow. What hit it? It was a turret hit, top, flash fire, ship blows up. Oh, well, a 14-inch gun. Good job, Hindenburg. Scratch one. Now, here we have a destroyer or light cruiser, so probably better to get, actually, our light cruisers to handle that. Just gonna keep clicking on some of these flags until I get there's a light cruiser. Let's get you back into business. Madgeburg, you're obviously relieved of duty. Now let's get the munching back over here too. 
So we would be extremely happy. By the way, the Niobe was avoiding torpedoes. Where the heck is the Niobe? Yeah, I've already advanced too many turns. Uh, it's going to be difficult to find. You'd expect it would be over here, though, right? Hmm. I guess we can continue to pursue. Let's turn off the... Where are you? This one? Yeah. Oh, good. Let's turn off fleet launching. That's good. I'm actually going to specifically instruct this guy not to launch torpedoes. Because we're up against a destroyer now, and that's not how we defeat destroyers. We get our light cruisers in there, of course. Oh. Okay, yeah, we're all... <laughs> it seems like... Oh, there's the Niobe. Yeah. So if you're avoiding torpedoes, then yeah, I'm sure the everyone else is as well. I think that's my battle cruiser. Yep. I turn on the names, but you can see it's... Just, might as well just turn it back off. It's impossible to tell anything. Is this this close? And we do kind of want to exit this battle. Wow, that's a lot of avoiding torpedoes, Vonderton. So, good job, I think. I'm not sure how much of it is crew skill and torpedo protection, but they are doing a good job. We haven't been hit by a torpedo yet. So, the last side target, I think we'll just leave. We, we did some good damage, and this night battle is just not how I wanted things to go. I'd much, much rather fight during the day, and even if they're f we're fighting 16-inch guns, which seems like it would put us at a serious disadvantage. Yeah. How's the Magberg doing? Let's circle back for the Magberg. Let's see how she's doing. She's almost controlled the flooding. I want her to stop. So we need to get back over to her so I can control her, so I can tell her not to move. And we'll just literally... Um, where is my other battle cruisers that they are? Okay, let's get them to go back. I don't care about the rest of the light cruisers and stuff floating around, possibly scouting, basically, until they turn into AI control. But where is my... Da -da -da, the magic... Okay, still not. I gotta get back to this guy so that we can AI control, turn it off. Let's get you to go to zero. And we're just going to circle around you for a while. Let's make bigger circles than that. Okay, all the battle cruisers and stuff are all on AI control. You're the special one, Magberg. Let's try to patch up that machinery repair. That's a good sign. Flooding is down to zero. Okay, so let's do this. What's your max speed? 11. Let's go eight, and I will concede a speed of 16. I'm gonna loop back more one more time, and we're just gonna follow you from a distance until you can get you know, moving in the right direction at least. And then the good news about all this uh, really bad weather is the likelihood that you'll be found by an enemy is pretty low. The likelihood of this huge blob being found by the enemy is, well, you can see our ship is basically this big. So, not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not like a needle in a haystack right now. So, as soon as the Magberg is underway... Okay. So, let's just go ahead and set the game speed to fast, and... The Magberg even reattached. I don't know about that. That seems a little ambitious. Let's head back to port. We will be successful in night fights, it looks like, but um, I'm actually not even going to test it. I'm not even going to worry about it. Yeah, no, I mean, it's not like we're walking away without a, without doing anything. Just, ooh, daytime, you say? Not daytime enough, really. I mean, I know it's going to get better, but even our day sighting radius is only like 3,000. Pretty bad weather. Here, we got some rain. Light rain. Okay, the fact that we can go very fast or fast, ultra fast, it's 
kind of an indication that there's no more enemy ships close by. Good job, Madgeberg. She's going to make it home. So now we're at war with Great Britain. The, the big war has begun. And i got to be honest, the, you're going to see the tension for the against the other units is, I mean, against the other nations is extremely high. So high that it's really possible we could end up at war with more than one nation here. Yep, yeah, we'll just send everyone into port. Beautiful. Okay, so wow, they had 14 dreadnoughts here. Wow. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy... This is only considered a minor victory when we sank a 40,000 ton ship. While we have the opportunity though, let's quickly take a look at the ships that are available to us. I mean, available to the enemy. <laughs> let's look at the Lion. Well, this is a fantastic ship. 10 inch belt. Still better than what we have. 16 inch guns. Quality zero. Their secondaries are 6 inch guns directly, and they don't have tertiary, so very similar to my style. How many do they have? Well, I guess we have to look here. 14, so 7 per side. They have that half double turret magic going on. Their 6 inch guns are quality ones, so that's something to watch for. Um, they will be able to hit our destroyers pretty easily. Well, it looks like their center turret is what undid them. <laughs> that's the one that flash fired. Hmm. Okay, well, that's the Lion class. We sunk the namesake. Here's the Incomparable. It's the Incomparable class. 12 16 inch guns. Oh my good god. 37,000 tons. What was the Lion again? Yeah, th oh, identical basically. But this is worse armor. They really went light on armor. That's kind of the strategy I ended up using. But these only have negative quality, negative 1 16 inch guns. 24 5 inch guns. Good gracious. I think that's kind of like. Wait. I think that's kind of like my battle cruisers. If I'm not mistaken. Where are my battle cruisers? Here they are. Yeah, I have 16 5 inch guns. So they just went. Like, let's take that one step further and decide to go um, 12 5 inch guns per side. Okay, well, the good news is it's quality zero 5 inch guns. And they have low armor, so our battleships should be good against these. Is it advanced director on everything? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the AI retrofits um, fire control very quickly. Okay, another incomparable class, which so should be identical, it is. Very low armor, uh, so another lion class. Very low armor, even their conning tower. We see 10 inch for the turrets. I wonder what the turret top is, though. It doesn't say it here. I mean, that is how we sunk this ship, so it's not amazing. It's not huge. Hmm. Okay. So, so far, I'm not... I don't feel overwhelmed. Let's just take a look. What is my tonnage? I'm exactly 30,000 tons, and I only have front superposition. Okay, good to know. Um, let's see. Inflexible was... Yeah, same and comparable. The Courageous is another Lion class. That's right. Now the Queen Mary. Another incomparable. Okay. And another Lion. Okay, so I'm more afraid of the Lion classes. Certainly. Better 16 inch guns. Higher armor, I think. Yeah. So the Lion classes, uh, oof. Okay, let's look at the other ones. More 16 inch guns. Goodness. Quality zero on these, five inch for their secondaries, eight per side. This one's not so bad. Yeah, this is only thirty thousand tons. Again, very low armor. Two and a half inch deck. If we can get these guys at distance, we'll probably win that trade off. Another bulwark. Use the escape key. Formidable. Okay, so here's a new one. Thirteen inch guns. We're not worried about that. Hood class. Ten sixteen inch guns. This one's thick. Look at that. Fifteen and a half inch turrets. Three inch deck. 16 inch conning tower, 6 inch batteries. This is a very sizable ship. Quality 1 16 inch, quality 1 6 inch. So the hood class is what we have to be really leery of. Only a max speed of 20 though, so at least we can outmaneuver it with any ship in our entire armada. Okay, a repulse class, which is wow. 
three quadruple turrets. Very high armor. Huh. This is very interesting. I've never seen a ship design like this. Very cool, though. It's very cool. 26 inch guns. Okay, 10, yeah, five double turrets per side. Quality one 15 inch and quality one 6 inch. A very dangerous ship. A London class, so this is a different one. 14 6 inch. Oh my gosh. But quality to negative one, and they only have 4, four inch um, for their secondaries. Yeah, that's not so bad. So I'm not too worried about this London class. It's only 30,000 tons. That kind of speaks to its capabilities. Um, an implacable class. Did we already see this? No. Okay, 12 15 inch guns. Negative one, six inch gun secondary, seven per side, low armor. Might as well go through this, we will kind of know what we're up against. Bulwark class, 12 six and 16 inch guns. Gosh, man. Quality zero. So I think we've only seen one 16 inch quality one gun, right? What was it, the Queen Mary? No. Is it the Bulwark? Just looking here, yeah, the, just the hood. The hood class is the only one. So technically that means the hood herself will be dangerous, yeah. So they have at least two very dangerous hood classes. Oh, a New Zealand class, eight 16 inch gun. This is interesting, 43,000, huge armor on this one. What is the hood tonnage? 39,000, but the New Zealand class is much bigger armor, less 16 inch quality, huh. What about the Rodney? I was hoping the Rodney would be her own class. Oh, so this is the Rodney class, this tr strange triple, I mean, three quadruple turret. Huh. Quality one, 15 inch. This is a dangerous ship. Very dangerous. Okay, so we'll close that. That's basically like 10 minutes just looking at their ships. Um, I guess I'm gonna call this episode to a close before, well, let's just, just briefly show you what state of affairs is on the main game screen okay so 9,000 we're off to a 10,000 victory point start and this is the situation so it looks like tensions have actually decreased with France now since the war began since this month but we're in bad shape and this is the main reason why I know that the border doesn't fit right now but um, we have this problem we have all of our Deutschland class are being refit right now. And I have to put some more on hold because we're not gonna make it this turn either with budget. Even with the elevation to war, it didn't give us quite enough. So that's unfortunate. But the good news is that our Von der Tong classes are gonna hold up well, it looks like. Um, what is the torpedo protection on these guys? I want to know. Yeah, only a torpedo defense of one, so we do have to be pretty careful. <laughs> but a very solid ship in every other way. Eight five-inch guns each side, quality one, director assisted firing on the secondaries. Yeah, I'll be very happy when we get our um, Deutschland classes, and that's what we expected to carry the fight. But Okay, so um, let's just uh, maybe put one more ship on hold here. Oops. We're gonna have to do some rating. Actually, I'm gonna take care of all the rating, setting up all that off camera. So I'll just come back um, you know, in the next episode with all that stuff prepared. Sorry about a bit of a spotty episode. I wasn't really able to eloquate myself, be eloquent. Exactly, this is my, the problem I'm talking about. I wasn't able to verbalize what I wanted to say very well. But thank you for your patience. And hey, at least here we are at war with Great Britain. So stay tuned for more of the Great War. Take care.